there's just something so good and so satisfying about a good murder mystery film. There's a bunch of different colourful characters, they all get together, they're all stuck in one kind of location and situation, and you're like, who's the murderer? Is everybody the murderer? Is two of them the murderer? Is one of them the murderer? Is it the butler? Is it the dog? And you just, oh, you just have so many thoughts and theories, and you can speculate wildly as you watch the film, trying to piece it together, like you're some kind of Sherlock Holmes slash Batman detective, and it's just, oh, it's so fun when a film is like, doing so well and you're just so engaged with the characters and the story but at the same time just on a level level you just like every single scene like who did it who did it what did it? and just and this film does that to just perfection it's just <laughs> it's glorious and i've got to try and contain myself so i don't just start screaming it's the best it's the best oh i love it let's 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 dive into why it's the best it's just it's just the best Glass Onion is the new Ryan Johnson film, a sequel to his murder mystery film Knives Out. But it's really more of a spin-off than a sequel. Yes, Daniel Craig is back as everybody's new modern favourite Sherlock slash Batman slash Perot styled detective. The greatest detective the world has ever seen in this universe. And he's back with another case and you don't need to have seen Knives Out at all. Like you do get a little bit more when you like know Daniel Craig's character a bit. But this film works really well as just a standalone film that happens to feature the same detective. And to get the comparison right out of the way, is this film as good as Knives Out? Out. No. It's way better. It's so good. This film blew me away. I was grinning from ear to ear, laughing, just having so much fun. I was enthralled in the murder mystery aspect of it. I was overwhelmed by the beautiful, lavish, rich, beautiful, giant mansion island thingy that we're on. Because this film is all about LeBlanc going to some billionaire's mansion and he's bringing all his friends. He's like, hoo hoo, we're going to have a fun time in my billionaire giant mansion extravagant island thingy and do a bit of a fun murder mystery. And you guessed it, maybe there's an actual murder mystery. <laughs> I'm not spoiling anything, but there definitely is a murder mystery of some type outside of the game of the murder mystery that they're doing. The billionaire is played by Edward Norton and he is on fire. Like every single person in this cast is just killing it. Some of the best performances I've seen by any of them. Dave Bautista continually shows that he can just do anything. Like he's just such a big muscular macho man. But in this he just plays such a unique different character that I've ever seen him. He's just so good. But the standout is definitely Daniel Craig. And there's another standout but I almost don't want to say who that is because I feel like it's almost a bit of a spoiler because their character takes such an interesting interesting turn. Like this film, like it's a murder mystery so we've got twists and turns and reveals and revelations and you know, all that fun juicy murder mystery stuff. But the way Ryan Johnson does this, it's just, it's next level. Like for so much of the film you're like, oh I'm watching this type of film. And then the film just like flips the board and just goes, now you're watching this film, deal with that. And then suddenly you're like rethinking everything you've seen in the first half and putting it together in the second half and it's just, it's so expertly crafted, it's so well staged and building and building to this giant climax and for a murder mystery it can be great and fun and amazing but if you don't like that final reveal of who is it or what is going on in the situation it can be disappointing and this, this film does not disappoint, it is so good, so funny but thrilling and exciting. I have literally no negatives to say about this film. The only negative would be that I cannot see this film for the first time and experience it with fresh eyes again. The cast is just exceptional. Everyone is so funny and so kind of big and colorful and bold and just such unique individual characters that like from the very first scene, I know who these people are, I know how they're gonna act, I know how they're gonna interact, and then they start peeling the layers back like some kind of, I don't know, onion, oh, just, Oh my god, when you all realise how significant the title Glass Onion is and how it has like one, two, three, four, four, five different meanings, metaphors, symbols, it's just, it's so good. Like, at the end there's kind of a thing where it's like, something something like an onion and I'm just, oh I'm melted inside. It's such good script writing, it's such a good, tight, amazing script. Also like tight, it's quite a long movie, but it doesn't feel its length. Like at about maybe 40 minutes to go, I really needed to pee. I just drank too much water and not for a single second did I consider leaving to take a piss. I'm like, I'll deal with this. I'll just, I'll just keep it, keep it inside because I cannot miss a second of this movie. It's that good. And I think that's a testament to how good a movie is. If you need to pee real badly, do you get up and leave? Do you just go, I'll just Google what happened. I, I refuse. It was, 
Oh, it's just so much fun. But it's not just the script, it's not just the actors, it's the cinematography. Like the way this film is put together, there's a montage right at the start of the film of all of them getting this box and doing these puzzle pieces for the, you know, the setup of the movie. And it's cutting between all these different situations and scenarios. And it's so good. The pacing and the mood and the vibe and like the rhythm of the film, it's just... Oh, I was just in love with the film as soon as it started, and about like 10, 15 minutes in, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it cannot keep getting better. There's gonna, it's gonna hit a lull or, or something, and then it just kept bang, 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 just, oh, it does everything you want in a murder mystery. It's like Ryan Johnson got like the blueprint of a classic murder mystery, and then he just, <laughs> and Ryan Johnson, he loves to do this. He subverts your expectations. And I know, I know what you're thinking. I loved it when he did that in The Last Jedi. And I know, I know what you're thinking. I hated that when he did that in The Last Jedi. Don't worry both sides of that argument. In this, it's perfect. It's sublime. I cannot imagine how you could possibly see it any other way. It is such a great... It, it's, it's one of the best sequels I've ever seen in terms of just being so much better than the original. But using kind of blueprints, like there's one or two themes and kind of story structure ideas that he uses in Knives Out that he also uses in this. If he does a third one, I imagine he might do that same thing in that time. That third time, it might be like, oh, yeah, we're at this point, we do this now, okay. But this time, I think it works so much better. And all the character work that's done after that and then reinforms things that we've seen before. It just, <laughs> I love this movie, it's so good. Just, just go see it, go see it in the cinema. It's out in like a month at Netflix. Do not wait, pay for this movie. Ryan Johnson needs the money. He doesn't because he got all that Star Wars money. <laughs> I know he deserves it. I know he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Every single layer of this delicious glass onion that is this movie. I just, I can't mm -mm -mm. love eating that raw glass onion. Just <sniffs> tastes good. And if whatever that just was doesn't convince you to go see the film, let me just put it like this. I think this might be my favorite murder mystery I've ever seen. I've ever seen. I know what you're thinking. What about Adam Sandler's murder mystery film, Murder Mystery? Well, that's, that's a close second. <laughs> that's, that is a very good film. I am joking, but I also am not. That film is an absolute delight. Even though the second time I watched it, I thought it was the first time. And about halfway, I was like, I think I've seen this. I just literally forgot every second of it. But I love it. It's really funny. It's like the only good Adam Sandler movie I've seen him make in like the last... I want to say 20 years, but that cannot be right. Let's say 10. Let's just, no, except for Uncut Gems. I mean silly comedy movies. Uh, Uncut Gems. Just, oh my God, what a movie. So that's my review for Glass Onion. Go check out Uncut Gems. Adam Sandler's just so gross and grubby and like, oh, I just, it makes me feel like I need to have a shower watching him in that film. It's just like, oh. Thanks for watching guys, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below. I would love to know what did you all think of Glass Onion, and what is your favourite murder mystery?